X train hits and kills a man. Here's what we know. That man was near a pedestrian crossing when he was struck and killed. Investigators on the scene right now trying to piece together exactly what went wrong. At 11 o'clock, good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Ann State. This is happening near 160th and East Burnside. Joel Iwanaga is there live. He's got the very latest developments. Joel. Police, uh, fire, and rescue uh, wrapped up their investigation earlier this evening. I can tell you that both eastbound and Ma uh, westbound Max service has been restored, and Burnside here at 160th uh, has since reopened within the last 30 minutes or so. Take a look at the video from about an hour, hour and a half ago. I can tell you that investigators tell me shortly after 7 o'clock tonight, an eastbound train struck and killed a man here on Burnside. I'm told he was near a pedestrian crossing. Max service, both east and westbound, was disrupted. For most of the evening, Burnside again closed to traffic. Shuttle buses uh, were taking Max riders to their destinations. Passengers, in the meantime, who heard and saw the accident were shaken. TriMet, though, sympathizes with them and thanks them for their patience and understanding. And these are tough scenes. They're tough for the family and friends of the of the individual, but also for our employees. So we're here to, you know, find out what happened and uh, deal with that as quickly as we can and also get service restored. So a lot of things going on right now. Yeah, a real a tragic scene. Westbound service resumed around 9.30 tonight. Eastbound service about a half hour ago. Back live here in East County where that investigation continues as to how and why this man was on the tracks in the first place. Again, that's still under investigation. His name will not be released until his entire family has been notified. We're live in Southeast Portland. I'm Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. Ann and Jeff, back to you in the studio.